everything's nice with the AI until it makes a mistake that a human would never make, ever. And this reveals that it wasn't actually smart. You can really eliminate hallucinations and they happen when you least expect them. It happened to Air Canada that the chatbot gave the wrong policy to a, a customer and then Air Canada had to honor the policy because a judge told it to. Emmanuel Majori is AI industry insider who has developed AI for a variety of applications. He is the author of the books Smart Until It's Dumb, Silicon, and The AI Pocketbook. Well, you mentioned about two AI booms that happened, but actually it ended up going nowhere in the end. So maybe tell us a little bit of this history. There was an AI boom in the 60s. Everybody will lose their jobs in 20 years. That was said in the 60s. Then in the 80s, another boom, another collapse. There are concerns. What will happen to my job? Especially for tech software engineers, many that can be replaced, including juniors. What is your opinion? About there will be jobs that will be lost to AI for sure. Maybe prematurely sometimes. We, we've already seen companies firing people and now hiring them back because it didn't work. This is scrambling so hard to adopt AI. How can business start thinking about adopting AI? Building a successful business is a business problem. It's not a technology problem. I've seen so many projects fail almost the same way every time. The best way to use AI is to acknowledge these hallucinations from the get-go. If you embed that into your product, you can build a successful product. And they tell you AGI is coming, right? I would tell you the answer is no. So AGI is not coming anytime soon. And the reason is that 